Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your exclusive video weather blog update from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. This is our video weather blog weather overtime. If you've never tuned in here before, you can catch it here at wrag.com slash weather. And if you'd like to know more about what's going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South or points beyond, definitely want to stick around and find out more about what's happening here. We'll take a look at weather on Mars in just a little bit. We'll take a look at earthquakes in the Mid-South. We'll also take a look, more importantly, into what's going on with the area around the tropics. If you are traveling toward the Gulf of Mexico anywhere in the next few days, you're going to want to pay attention to the forecast because we do have the possibility of some changes taking place there. Can't stick around for the entire forecast. Current conditions right here. Temperatures back around 70 degrees in the backyard. 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms coming our way throughout the rest of the day. High temperatures today in this bar back in the lower 90s, and then for tonight back in the mid to upper 70s right here for low temperatures and that's about as good as it gets throughout the course of the rest of the day. What did it look like on Mars just a couple of days ago? A maximum air temperature of minus 1 and a so that should be a negative ground temperature of minus 41 degrees uh, at that location for there and a minimum air temperature of 104 degrees below zero. So decently chilly day on Mars. If you'd like to know more about the remote environmental monitoring station, all you have to do is go to mars.nav NASA.gov for a lot of information about what's going on, including the weather station, the environmental station on the remote probe that's wandering around Mars these days. Great opportunity to learn more about exometeorology, your opportunity to learn more about weather on other planets. An incredible concept to think that we can get this information these days, and that's why I love to feature stuff like this, because it's just really so cool to talk about. What else is going on out there? Well, for right now, we don't have much going on in the Mid-South area where it comes to earthquakes. Last Last week on Sunday, we had a cluster of earthquakes over northeastern Arkansas. Not the case today. The Mid-South is very quiet. Likewise, the New Madrid Fault, nothing taking place within about the last 24 hours or so. Thanks to the United States Geological Survey, and unfortunately, their logo got covered up over there. Thanks to the University of Memphis and Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Great place to go to for information out there when it comes to things under the ground. Over the ground, a lot of cloud cover this morning from the area around Rhodes College in Memphis. A little bit of sunshine this morning, but not too much out there. And thanks to the Weather Underground system for some great cameras out there. The University of Mississippi, a lot of great webcams on their campus as well. Crosby Hall construction cam showing the student union in the center portion of the screen with the construction equipment going on and starting to see a nice little bit of almost getting completed there. Hopefully, I think it's going to be done before semester begins. Not entirely sure about that than what it did out there. More of our webcams available at WRAG.com. You can go to their website at live cams.oldmiss.com if you'd like to see more or .edu I think. Cloudy in Germantown, a little bit of sunshine poking its way on through. 70 degrees currently, 93% humidity, so a very warm and sultry morning starting off in the Mid-South, but we are seeing again a lot of cloud cover back off to the northwest looking toward the towers of East Memphis on the horizon and also again seeing some very mild conditions out there throughout the rest of the area. Temperatures throughout the rest of the morning rising pretty rapidly. There will be enough sunshine out there and of course more more southerly winds across much of the Mid-South to really bump those temperatures upwards and keep them up there throughout the rest of the day. So if you are expecting anything in the way of cooler weather, this morning, that was about as cool as it gets across much of the Mid-South area. This is about as cool as it gets, too. By early this afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. Chances for showers and thunderstorms continue out there. And we see, again, the possibility of those showers and thunderstorms into this evening as well. Winds out of the south to southwest at about 10 to 15, and that's just going to bring in more moisture, more heat, things like that. So not expecting too much of anything in the way of cooler weather for today or throughout the next several days as well. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on throughout the rest of the morning. Could be, again, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South. They'll be kind of developing, drifting, collapsing, starting back over again and repeating that process. Call them pulse type thunderstorms because that's what they're going to be. Could be some isolated strong thunderstorms out there, maybe even a quick round of severe weather, but so far it looks like most of that activity is going to be well back on up to our north and mainly again across portions of the area of southern areas of Missouri back into around portions of northeastern Arkansas early on, but most of that activity is not going to be affecting us for the, for the again, the most part for today. Now into the rest of the forecast, we see again the possibility of these scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up from time to time. I would take the umbrella with you 
if you want to keep the outdoor activities that's great but keep in mind remember when thunder roars when you can see lightning or hear thunder you need to get back indoors to a sturdy building not inside of a tent not inside of like a bathroom out structure things like that you need to be indoors and safe away from that activity and you need to be paying attention to the weather forecast as well to make certain you stay safe out there rest of the day mid to upper 80s to lower 90s through sunset time tonight and then temperatures into tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid 70s possibly only a few upper 70s out there that's as low as the temperatures get into tomorrow morning then a new line develops of thunderstorms through about early tomorrow morning hopefully not looking anything severe but again we'll be watching that with a lot of interest thunderstorm chances really start to ramp up as we go into the afternoon and especially tomorrow evening that's where we may see the potential of strongest weather coming our way and then leaving the mid-south as we get into around monday now the threat for some not really a problem for us that's going on well to our north you can see again that orange shaded here catch i here so just hang on for one second we see again that orange shaded area that is an enhanced risk of severe weather from roughly topeka kansas all the way back by the way hi mom back to around chicago illinois and the great lakes now the threat for tomorrow makes its way into the mid-south that's where we're seeing again that possibility of severe weather taking place here in our area and some of that is again going to be uh, mainly the possibility of damaging winds and large hail but notice one important thing it basically affects the entire area from Dyersburg to uh, Oxford that's where we're going to be seeing this going on from Jackson Tennessee back to Forest City Arkansas and the metro area everybody stands a chance of severe weather especially tomorrow afternoon and evening and that's what we're going to be looking for the threat for Monday gone heads away from us back toward the east of us rest of the forecast again a chance of showers and thunderstorms any point in time throughout the rest of the day today more chances of showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow with again that potential for less hot temperatures out there then we get into around monday with temperatures back in the mid 80s with again numbers going back into around the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s now spring officially comes to an end on tuesday evening very late so that's why we put the marker for summer on wednesdays the first full day of summer so that seemed to be a better way to spend our icon money on that less of a chance of anything involving showers or thunderstorms coming up as we go into midweek but as we approach the end of the week that's also where we see again the potential of some stronger thunderstorms coming on through and next weekend if everything holds things right now looking a little bit more iffy for the possibility of any clear weather if everything holds toward next weekend not this weekend but next weekend that's where we could see again the possibility of some even stronger conditions coming our way so uh, more widespread thunderstorms so that's something we're going to be watching with a lot of interest out there now into the tropics we on this morning uh stay tuned we're, we're keeping an update on the, we're trying to get this computer to go on there's a lot of lag time going on we are still live on periscope and twitter even though it may not look that way this particular cell right here the one that we're looking at around the uh, southern caribbean and the gulf this one looks like it may be wandering up into the northwestern gulf of mexico according to the national hurricane center that's something we are going to be watching throughout the rest of the weekend so stay tuned for more on that more on the local forecast get our weather app search w-r-e-g weather on your particular app page whatever platform you've got and keep up to date with weather in the mid-south area if you can't listen if you can't watch the forecast on air or online join me on the radio on country 92.5 or oldies 102.3 and we'll keep you updated on that to give you an idea as to what's going on that's the east arkansas broadcast network and of course join me on all my social media networks if you've got a social media network, I'm on there someplace, so take a look, and I'll be out there at some location. i got to hop back out on set here in just a little bit because uh, about the quarter hour, we'll be going live on News Channel 3 Daybreak with a lot more weather information taking place. Questions, concerns, ideas, especially if you've got anything you'd like to see on here, we would love to know about it. And if you would like to let us know, please drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com, and you can find me through this website right here floating above my head quite conveniently. More information about the rest of your forecast through the rest of the weekend and stay tuned for more with news channel 3 on air and online through saturday and sunday especially with the potential of severe weather out there live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onick thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog update weather overtime for saturday morning